Hi, my name is Aaron. And I'm Davis. And this is our robotic bartender. Uh, we built this about two to three months ago. And how it's designed to work is you put a glass on this little conveyor belt. The conveyor belt slides along and we have a bunch of alcoholic beverages up here. And as it goes along, each alcoholic beverage pours into the, the glass to make you a drink. Yeah, and the only problem with this uh, linear system though is that right now you can only put one glass on here and you have to wait for it to slide all the way across all uh, of these dispensers. And not only that, the motor we have on this uh, dispenser isn't really that powerful. And uh, as you can hear, the bearings on this is not that great. So what we're wanting to do now is build a circular bartender system where we can have multiple drinks on there and hopefully a better conveyor belt system. Uh, so for this project, hopefully we can mix uh, many more drinks at a time. Uh, we're thinking about eight drinks at one time, and it'll be a lot faster than this because this uh, platform is inherently slow. Uh, so over the next uh, few videos, we're going to be designing and building this project. This is a video of the robotic bartender mixing a drink. As you can see, the platform is pretty slow. We can turn up the RPM on the motor, but the problem with doing that is that it loses a lot of torque when we turn up the speed. So the platform kind of skips and loses some resolution. This is how the mixers are added. We pressurize a few bottles of soda and that pressure forces the liquid out into the cup. The problem with doing this though is that we don't really have any idea how much liquid is in the cup. So ideally, we'll improve that system in version two. So we have a stepper motor here and this is what drives our conveyor on a timing belt. This is the platform where the glass goes on and it slides on linear bearings on these two metal rails. So it slides across and stops at each drink and then each drink dispenses and then it moves on. On this end, we just have a pulley for the other side of the timing belt and this is mounted on a bearing down here. And this just helps us draw the conveyor platform. So these little uh, alcohol dispensers are um, made in England. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but basically what happens is you have a bottle sitting up here and the alcohol kind of drains down into this little reservoir here and it's a shot's worth of uh, liquid. So uh, it just sits in here until the conveyor belt um, moves underneath this thing. And once it moves underneath this thing, uh, there's a, a linear actuator that pulls this lever back. And so how this is supposed to work normally is you push a glass against this and the alcohol falls in. Uh, but because we can't really push the glass up into this thing, I just have an actuator that pulls it back. Um, so once it gets pulled back, the alcohol drips in here and it's just uh, timed so that um, if we want like a half shot, we just do uh, half of the time interval. This is what the back of the robotic bartender looks like. On the left there, you can see that there are a couple of solenoid valves and that controls our uh, pressure system. And then on the right side, uh, we have all of our electronics. The pressure system has a few different parts. This is a compressor and this thing automatically shuts off when it senses that there's enough pressure uh, buildup in the system. I think it's like 15 PSI or something like that. And so this thing is connected to all these uh, solenoid valves. And these solenoid valves control output of uh, air pressure into uh, each of the mixer bottles. So all of these are closed off by default. This pressure system will turn on, it's not connected to power right now, but it'll turn on um, and then shut off as soon as this line becomes uh, pressurized. And when I trigger one of these solenoid valves, it will put pressure into the mixer bottle and the air pressure in the mixer bottle uh, pushes the liquid out. So the liquid goes through this tube up and out into the glass. Okay, and these are the electronics. I have a Raspberry Pi, or sorry, an Arduino back here. And then this is a power supply. There's a five volt regulator right here, a stepper motor right here, and then uh, a couple relays and these are used to control the power from this power supply and then I have a power cord here because I um, hooked up uh, a Raspberry Pi to this Arduino through serial and I send serial commands from my Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi is running a server 
which people can connect to on their phone. And so uh, it starts by, um, so the power comes in here. This controls the relays. So when I say want to trigger one of the linear actuators uh, for the beverages, I would switch on one of these relays. It would ground the linear actuator, and then it triggers it uh, to a different state. So by default, there is no, there's no actuation, and when I trigger it, it actuates uh, backwards, pulling the, um, that little tab on the, the drink dispenser device. Okay, so this is what the circular bartender is basically going to look like. It's going to be a big cylinder in the middle, and then at the bottom of this cylinder, there's going to be a rotating platform, and this is where we're going to put all the cups that are going to be filled. And on the side of the cylinder, there are going to be bottles that are going to be mounted, and these will dispense drinks into our cups. And inside the cylinder, we're going to place, we're going to place uh, electronics. We're going to place somewhere inside there our motor, and uh, we're going to place some other um, drink dispensers like lemonade and stuff. And there will be a bunch of other stuff like relays and things like that. But on the bottom, that's where we're going to have a platform where we can put it on the table. And there'll probably be position sw uh, switches and sensors down here. And also some sort of motor uh, driving mechanism. So some sort of uh, wheel or gear at the bottom to rotate the platform. So that's, in general, that's what that's gonna look like. So I'll go into a little more detail about what it's gonna look like through a side view. And I'm gonna go from the bottom up. So bottom will be our platform. So platform here. And then our rotating platform is where the drinks are gonna go is gonna be on top of what's called a Lazy Susan. It's basically two pieces of circular metal put together with bearings in between so it can spin around. And so our rotating platform is going to be on top of that. So this is the Lazy Susan, and this is the rotating platform. And then in the middle, obviously, is our cylinder. And this is going to be where our bottles are going to be mounted. And then these are going to be where our glasses are. Now, to sense where the position of the platform is, we're probably going to have some sort of switch and a lever combination. So when uh, the lever passes by the switch, then it's going to activate it and we'll know where our platform is. And to drive this platform, we're probably going to use some sort of grippy material on the bottom of the platform and have another grippy wheel to drive it. And our motor is going to be somewhere inside this area. And then this is going to be a pretty big cylinder, so we'll be able to fit a lot of the electronics and things like that inside. All right, so that's all for this time. Uh, it was a short video because we're still designing right now, but for the next video, we're going to start building it, and we're going to be working on the platform and working our way up. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe um, to check out updates on this video and other projects in the future, including my new uh, Facebook chatbot that sends you a new news article every morning. So that's it for this time.